Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus outbreak declared a global pandemic. To contain this, to be testing, to be tracing. Elon Musk says four he has rapid COVID tests today. Two were positive, two were negative. The RT-PCR is the standard testing approach for the early diagnosis of suspected cases of COVID-19. The test, however, has a high and variable false negative rate. Also, the unavailability of enough testing kits resulted in focusing on medical image radiomics as a complementary source for diagnosis. The chest radiograph uses X-ray beams, which are highly charged with electrons that pass through the body. It can be used efficiently to complement other diagnostic methods. It gives immediate results, and the images show correlation with the disease severity. However, it has lower sensitivity compared to CT. The CT scan is an imaging test that takes a series of cross-sectional x-rays. The machine rotates around the patient to obtain 2D images to form a 3D representation of the body. CT scans have high sensitivity and are a reliable method for machine learning since it is independent of the operator's experience. Deeming PCR insufficient, the need for improved diagnosis capabilities arises. The architecture of the proposed COVID caps starts with the input of 3D X-ray images, four convolutional layers, and three capsule layers. The first layer is a convolutional neural network followed by batch normalization. The second layer is followed by average pooling. The third convolutional layer is followed by three capsule layers which performs the routing by agreement, the last of which contains the instantiation parameters of the two classes of positive and negative COVID-19. The length represents the probability of each class being present. The advantages of using a capsule network are eliminating the need for large data sets or data augmentations. In general, we have fewer negative than positive cases, therefore we adjusted the loss function to handle the imbalance. The generated data set contains four labels arranged into two groups, normal, bacterial, non-COVID viral in the first, and COVID-19 in the second. COVID caps achieved an accuracy of 95.7%, a high sensitivity of 90%, and specificity of 95.8%. Using the pre-trained model improves the accuracy and specificity as the ROC curve shows with an AUC of 0.99. To facilitate the application of machine learning and deep neural networks for COVID-19 diagnosis, we designed the COVID-CTMD dataset. The dataset consists of 169 confirmed positive COVID-19 cases, 76 normal, and 60 community-acquired pneumonia cases. The dataset is specifically designed with patient level, slice level, and lobe level labels. Moreover, the whole CT volume is available. The distribution of the patient's gender, age, is represented in the following graphs. Using the COVID-CT-MD dataset, we leveraged the performance of the COVID-CAPS to develop the CT-CAPS framework. Furthermore, a hybrid model was built to improve on the CT-CAPS performance. The hybrid model performs better because it incorporates clinical and demographic data. The data includes gender, age, weight, and the appearance of the 13 most common symptoms upon admission to the imaging center. The model also leverages a random forest classifier for diagnosis. The RF classifier includes 1,000 decision trees. Each tree can be characterized independently based on the nodes by which it is constructed. The five most important features with their corresponding importance value were extracted from the RF classifier, the probability scores generated by CT caps, and the age, weight, cough symptom, and fever have the most influence on the final decision. Comparing the performance of the hybrid model to that of CT caps, it improves on both accuracy and specificity. However, a standard dose CT scan can place a significant radiation burden on patients. We used low-dose and ultra-low-dose scan protocols to reduce the radiation exposure close to that of a single X-ray, while maintaining an acceptable resolution for diagnosis purposes. Since thoracic radiology expertise may not be widely available, we developed an AI-based framework using the low-dose and ultra-low-dose dataset to study whether the model can provide human-level performance. The model uses a two-stage capsule network architecture. First, CT slices go through a capsule network one by one to detect those with evidence of infection. Second, the 10 most probable slices with infection go through a time-distributed capsule network, after which a global max pooling determines the output. By using clinical data, we also improved the performance. Compared with the radiologist, the model achieved human-level performance. By using the GradCam analysis, we showed that the model is paying attention to relevant locations of the image. Thank you.